Ghana is set and ready to lead Africa in railway transportation by acquiring 12 new modern trains from Pollard. These new trains are undergoing testing and it is expected to be in the country this year by March 2024. Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Ghana's railway transportation system and how it is set to lead Africa in railway transportation. Over the past few years, Ghana has been making significant investments in its railway infrastructure with the goal of improving transportation across the country and the continent. This investment is an important step towards boosting economic growth, increasing trade and improving the lives of Ghanaians. In this video, we will highlight some of the key developments in Ghana's railway transportation system and discuss their potential impact. I will appreciate it if you subscribe and give this video a like and share so other people will get to see this too. Ghana's railway transportation system dates back to the colonial era, where it was primarily used to transport goods such as cocoa, gold, timber, and other raw materials. However, in the years following Ghana's independence, the railway infrastructure fell into disrepair and little was done to improve its fall several decades. This lack of investment led to a decline in the use of railways for air transportation, with most people opting for road transport instead for a very long time. However, in recent years, the Ghanaian government has made significant investment in revitalizing the railway infrastructure with the aim of improving transportation and boosting economic growth. One of the key developments in Ghana's railway transportation system is the construction of the standard gauge railway across some parts of the country. Tema to Impakadan Railway, Takrade to Kojokrum Railway. This railway line has a total length of 330 kilometers. The project is expected to cost around $2 billion and is expected to be completed this year, 2024. The new railway line is expected to significantly reduce travel time between Accra and Kumasi with trains traveling at a speed up to 120 km per hour. In addition to the Accra-Kumasi railway line, there are several other railway projects that are currently underway in Ghana. This includes the Eastern Line, which will run from Accra to the port city of Tema, and the Western Line, which will run from Takradi to Kumasi. These projects are expected to greatly improve transportation across Ghana and the wider West Africa regions. This improved transportation infrastructure will make it easier and more cost-effective to transport goods and people across the country, which will in turn boost economic growth. This will also lead to a reduction in the cost of goods and services, making them more affordable for Ghanaians. Furthermore, the improved railway infrastructure will make it easier for Ghana to trade with other countries in the region and beyond. This is particularly important given that Ghana is a major exporter of commodities such as cocoa, gold and oil. The railway system will also make it easier for foreign investors to do business in Ghana as it will improve transportation links to major business centers. Another potential impact of Ghana's railway transportation system is the reduction of road congestions and accidents. 
with more people and goods being transported by rail, there will be fewer vehicles on the road, which will reduce traffic congestions and improve road safety. This will in turn reduce the cost of road maintenance and repairs, as well as the cost of healthcare for those injured in road accidents. Finally, the improved railway infrastructure will create new job opportunities for Ghanaians. The construction of the railway line will create jobs for engineers, construction workers, and other skilled and unskilled workers. Once the railway line are operational, there will be a need for trained conductors, mechanics, and other support staff. This will help to reduce unemployment in Ghana and improve the standard of living for many Ghanaians. While the revitalization of Ghana's railway transportation system is a significant step towards improving transportation across the country, there are still several challenges that need to be addressed. One of the main challenges is funding. The cost of building and maintaining railway infrastructure is high and the Ghanaian government will need to continue to invest in the railway system to ensure its success. Another challenge facing Ghana's railway transportation system is the issue of land acquisition. In order to build new railway lines, land needs to be acquired from owners, which can be a lengthy and sometimes contentious process. Finally, the issue of maintenance and repairs is also a challenge facing Ghana's railway transportation system. The railway infrastructure will need to be regularly maintained and repaired to ensure that it remains safe and operational. This will require significant investment in training and equipment as well as the hiring of skilled workers. In conclusion, Ghana's railway transportation system is set to lead Africa in railway transportation with significant investment being made to improve infrastructure across the country. We hope you found this video informative. If you have any thoughts or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Thank you for watching.